I was really scared because I don't really know what I want to do. Hi, I'm Maya and that was me two years ago at the ACS Access Conference and I'm now a HSPS student at Cambridge University. Most of us had gone to kind of state comprehensive schools as well. So I feel like it was a really nice moment of realising, oh, like, it's not just me. Everyone else is kind of figuring this out too as we go along. Honestly, I've actually really enjoyed myself. Um, it's been a good chance to network with um, like-minded people. The area that I come from isn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily have many people who come from the same background as me. As me. So I'd really like to meet more people who I can share experiences with. I came from a background where a lot of people felt like Cambridge was sort of another world, sort of a place which was impossible to get into. Um, and like, I had been pushed by my head of year at my sixth form to do so. And I feel like, you know, just with a push, um, it can help people just try. And once people try, and, um, they really can sort of realise their potential. I think there's power in people who have gone through the process kind of giving back to us younger ones and there's a lot to learn from it. It gives you the chance to ask some questions and it provides an insight of whether or not Cambridge is somewhere you'd be happy to go to. There were lots of things I just hadn't thought about. Obviously there was a very formal section about you know the things like how many books do I need to read? Do I need to read books? Are articles okay? Those sorts of things were answered in so much depth. But at the same time, there was an informal kind of Q&A session. But remember to bring, even at any university you're at, bring your seasoning, bring the Maggie Q. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just remember that, yeah. So I would say, when you get to your college, just ask them, are there any scholarships? Are there any bursaries? Bursaries especially because you don't have to pay them back. Scholarships. You don't have to pay them back. So look for those things because they're there. They might not scream about it, but they're there. I think when you get there, you know, you're scribbling everything down, trying to take down notes of people's names or their advice, and you think you're taking it in, but it's so overwhelming at first. But I think definitely when you start having to apply it and trying to write that first draft of the personal statement, which everyone struggles with, it was nice to feel like, oh no, I've actually got some idea of direction for this. Yeah, I can see you guys are pretty determined because you've decided to kind of sign up for today and find out about your future. But absolutely, absolutely go for it. You know, no kind of question of like, should I do this extra bit of revision? Should I do this bit? Should I think about this? Absolutely go for it because that's your sense of agency right now. It's all in your hands. I could actually make it to Cambridge. When I realised that they just didn't focus on the GCSEs and they focused on your predicted grades, they focused on like the admissions test, they focused on interview. And I knew that I had time to kind of excel in those. So that's when I thought, that's when I, and it was around like the middle of year 12, that's when I thought, oh yeah. I can definitely give it a, give it a shot and see whether I make it or not. So I'm actually in year 13. So um, I initially did the whole Oxbridge process last year, but I was unsuccessful. However, my IB results were much better than I expected. So I've decided to have another go at the whole process. One thing I've taken away is definitely about opportunities and how doors aren't necessarily always open, but it's in our power and it's actually within our right. And if you want to, to actually push those doors and get those opportunities if you want to. They really made it seem like, okay, this is a choice that you have. If you want to go, you can. Here are the tools to be able to do that. But if you don't, that's also okay. And no matter where you are, even if you don't get in, it still teaches you kind of those skills. And I think that was what was really nice for me. I think that's what everyone was sort of left with. Please apply to Cambridge. Um, if you're doubting yourself or you think you're not good enough, please apply, because I'm sure you're worth it. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Zuti and I'm one of the Access Officers for Cambridge ACS. Hi everyone, my name's Alici and I'm one of the Access Officers at Cambridge ACS. Our Access Conference this year is a chance for you to be inspired by alumni and current students through a host of subject tailored workshops and panel discussions to help your application to Cambridge. Make sure that you sign up for the Access Conference if you're interested on the link on this post and also at cambridgeacs.org slash access conference and make sure you sign up by the 14th of August.